Good afternoon and welcome back everybody to the Madden franchise. Today we have Jets at the Texans. Now according to the Jets franchise, our sources say that they have re-signed Jonathan Franklin Myers to a two-year, $20 million deal. So far in the year he has seven tackles, five sacks, and one forced fumble. So obviously they believe that he has earned that extension. Texans are 4-0, beating the Jaguars, Bills, Rams, and Titans. Uh, Brandon Cooks is out for this game with a dislocated hip. And uh, Randall Cobb has been taking over that, uh, that starting wide receiver position so far. So we have had a lot of re-signings. I'm going to go through them periodically throughout this game so that way I can still commentate over the game. But uh, yeah, the Bucks ended up re-signing Ronald Jones, five years, 32 million, and Carlton Davis, five years, 60 million. Uh, Derwin James re-signs with the Chargers, five years, 62 million. Also, Hunter Henry re-signed, four years, 44 million. So we're seeing a lot of guys get paid. But Broncos re-signed Bradley Chubb and Matt Breida, or Marlon Mack, I'm sorry, gets us started so far in this game. Uh, Bradley Chubb re-signed six years, 100 million with the Broncos. As that's Kiki QT gone to the end zone. 60, I believe that's 62 yards. Oh my lord, what a way for the Texans, the Texans to start this football game. And Fred Warner re-signed with the 49ers. Six years, 108 million. Bills re-signed Josh Allen, their franchise quarterback. Seven years, 277 million dollars. The Packers did also re-sign uh, Devontae Adams as Le'Veon Bell gets the Jets started here. Five years, $200 million. The Ravens re-sign Lamar Jackson as Bell gets that first down on third and four. Seven years, $257 million. And then last one here, uh, Steelers re-sign TJ Watt, six years, $137 million. So, I mean, you, you love to see when guys get paid as the Jets will be forced to punt. Texans still up 7-2-0. Randall, as far as Randall Cobb last week, he had 6 for 132. And like I said earlier, Cooks is out for this game with a dislocated hip. And on the season for Deshaun Watson, 11, 1,153 yards with 11 touchdowns. He just throws his ball up and it is dropped. Almost caught by Austin, but two, but it was too much traffic right there. Couldn't quite haul it in. And that's another punt from the Texans as we have Tutu Atwell back there to return. And makes one man miss. He tries to break it outside. Tutu Atwell, one man to go. He beats him, but gets tackled from behind by number 41. I believe that's Cunningham. But as far as the Jets go, Cap is 500 yards with six touchdowns and six picks as he gets sacked there by Todd Davis. If he keeps playing bad, keeps turning his ball over, we could see Justin Fields pretty early. Then trying to keep up with the coach for this team. As we see another overthrow right there, Cap is not the one leading this team to victories. As a great punt there, got the Texans starting at the three, but an eight-yard run by Marlon Mack. Um, we did see Makai Becton get hurt. He will return later in the game. And that sack, Deshaun Watson got sandwiched by Matt Judon and Franklin Myers. And that's going to be third and 11. Breaks the tackle, gets to the five. Not enough for the first down. Going to be a Texans punt. But as I was saying, Cap is not the one leading this team to wins. It's the defense. The defense is playing outstanding so far this season. And Cap, third and four. Gonna run the ball. Not good. Think we're gonna see another punt here. JJ Watt goes out and he will not return. I believe he had a bruised sternum. Oh no, they're gonna go for it. Fourth and two. Kaepernick finds Jordan Reed for the first down, gain of six yards. Kaepernick once again giving the ball to Le'Veon Bell. Le'Veon Bell breaks it to the right side, gets tackled at the 17, gain of 15 there for him. Kaepernick. Under pressure, he tried to force it to and kill Harry, but it's picked off. Picked by Malcolm Jenkins, the longtime Saints. Longtime Saints players, we end the first quarter. Texans still up by seven. Like I said, we may end up seeing Justin Fields this game. Deshaun Watson, he's going to throw it up. There's no snag lure. Ashton Davis, they're fighting for it. The referee says it's a catch for the offense. 
They gave it to Nelson Aguilar. Ashton Davis got mossed. But that's that, that's that consecutive catch that we have seen a good bit of times over these past couple years. Uh, they just always go to the offense for some reason. Marlon Mack, back-to-back -back draw plays. And I believe he got hit for the first down by Marcus May. What a hit. Third and inches. Okay, so it wasn't a first down. That snacks Harrison gets to Sean Watson on the sack. We're going to have a field goal here. Seven minutes left in the first half as the Texans take the 10-0 lead. So, and it looks like we do have a Justin Fields sighting. Justin Fields is just going to scramble here. And he gets about five on that one. So, the coach wants to see how uh, Justin Fields can play. Like I said, Cap has been turning the ball over a good bit as Le'Veon Bell is absolutely trucks him and then gets demolished by Bernardrick McKinney. Justin Fields takes the ball once again. We go out to Le'Veon Bell on the left side. He's got blockers. Le'Veon Bell picks up the first down. Trucks the defender and gets tackled from behind by Cunningham. Cunningham is definitely really good with those behind-the-back tackles. Le'Veon Bell with a little three-yard run right there. And we got a bubble screen on third and nine, 2 2 Atwell with the speed, but he can't get the wheel started as we see a field goal here. First points for the Jets on the line. It's up and it is good. Jets down by eight touchdowns. We see Marlon Mack seven for 43 so far in this game. And he's going to take the run here once again, breaks the tackle. I think he's going to be a little bit short on that one. Yep, second and in inches. And Marlon Mack easily gets the first down as Mosley gets the hit, but it's too late. Sean Watson, third and ten. Under two minutes now. Sean Watson has all day. Sean Watson cross body. And he finds, I believe that's Randall Cobb for the first down. Randall Cobb's first catch of the game. And that snacks Harrison with another sack. Deshaun Watson is getting really good protection from his offensive line. His offensive line is not that good, but they are playing up to the Jets' D-line right now. Second and 21, just a little dump off here by Marlon Mack. Breaks a couple of tackles, and if he wouldn't have stepped out, he was probably gone, folks. They, I don't think they were going to catch him. Third and six. 115 left in the first half, and that's going to be tackled short of the first down line. And we have a chance here. And, whoa, never mind. We don't have a chance here. Thought Houston was going to go up 13-3, but the kicker shanks that. And that's Corey Davis. Corey Davis breaks the tackle, and he is all the way to the end zone. Jets look to tie this ball game up. Justin Fields found Davis on the slant, and Davis did the rest. Took it 52 yards for the touchdown. And the Jets will tie it up here. It is a tie ball game, 10-10, to -10, as we get ready to end the second half. Jets will have an opportunity to score. And Deshaun Watson fires QT over there on the left side. A little comeback route. Now they're at the 40. Deshaun Watson dropping back. And that's caught on the right side by QT once again. QT is uh, taking over this football game. Slowly but surely. But that is no good on third down as the Jets just take it to halftime. As we really just see where this Jets team morale is at. I mean, Justin Fields takes over and is tied as Colin Kaepernick couldn't get anything to go for them. But Patriots beat the Dolphins 22 to 20. Cam Newton 245 and two touchdowns to a tongue of Viola 255, a touchdown and an interception. As we head over to Baltimore, Pittsburgh at Baltimore. Uh, Pittsburgh wins and they're 5 0, 28 to 14. Roethlisberger, 219 in a touchdown. Lamar Jackson, the week of signing his extension, loses to a division rival. Tampa Bay at Buffalo. Buffalo won 17 to 14. Get their first win on the year. Josh Allen, 210 in a touchdown. Tom Brady, 193 in a touchdown. As we get ready for the second half, and we have Justin Fields coming out once again, trying to lead this team to another victory. It's going to be a toss. And 66 missed the timer, missed the block. Jordan Reed goes down. He will return next quarter. But can we just talk about 66 mixing that block? He could have had a first down. But just, I don't know. I don't even know how he missed that. As we get a fullback guy for the first down for the Texans. Almost said Titans. Deshaun Watson looks to take the snap. Second and nine. 
And he finds Nelson Aguilar who made that tremendous catch in the first quarter. For the first down, 48-yard line is going to be another draw play. The Texans are killing that draw play. Marlon Mack loses the football. Marlon Mack lost the football on the way to the ground. It's going to be close. They're going to want to challenge this. So we're going to take another look here. And he definitely had the ball out there, but it does appear that his knee was down. And, yes, his knee was down before he lost the ball, but if only he could have let, let go of that ball a little sooner, the Jets would have taken over. And Marlon Mack takes that for a couple yards to the 24. Third and four. Sean Watson, empty backfield. Scanning the field. And he finds Marlon Mack. Four Jets and nobody can tackle him. Gets a gain of eight as the crowd goes crazy. Sean Watson with Marlon Mack in single back. It's going to be stretched to the outside. And there goes Quentin Williams. Finally a Quentin Williams sack as Marlon Mack goes down. And he will not return. Got the same injury as Brandon Cooks. A dislocated hip. So that will probably take a few weeks to recover. As that's going to be another sack by Jonathan Franklin Myers. 1.5 sacks on the day. So another field goal here as we end out this third quarter. Between the Jets and the Texans. And the Texans have a 13-10 lead. So we'll have one more play before the fourth quarter. It's going to be a little screen pass. Corey Davis is going to go nowhere. Tackled by number 35. Second and eight. We have a screen. Le'Veon Bell. He gets the ball. 66 once again misses a, t misses a block. Third and four. Play action here from Justin Fields. And he's going to find Corey Davis. Drops it in the bucket, but Corey Davis could not get his feet in. What a pass from Justin Fields showing off the accuracy as Matt Breida will take over for an injured Marlon Mack. Third and six, 7-15 in the fourth quarter. The Jets need a stop, but they won't get one here as Randall Cobb makes J.C. Jackson look dumb. Breaks his ankles and gets the first down. And a wide open Trey Burton who they signed in the offseason gets down to the 16-yard line. 33 yards first and 10 Deshaun Watson hands it off Nelson Aguilar breaks one tackle Nelson Aguilar almost got there but number 31 brings him down at the 3 yard line they're going to try to punch him with Matt Breida here Breida and that's no good probably could have pushed the ball over but chose not to third and goal at the 2 Deshaun Watson Finds QT in the back of the end zone for the touchdown. Texans look to take a 10-point lead here late in the fourth quarter. Kick is up and it is good. So Texans lead 22-10. Justin Fields needs to get something going for this offense. They have got to score a touchdown. And that's the kill Harry. The safety took a bad angle. And Kill Harry gets all the way up to the 45 before going out of bounds. Just a little over four minutes left in the fourth quarter. Play action once again. Third and ten. And he's going to go over to Josh Malone. Josh Malone, a rising star in this offense. And we're going to see a read option here. I think we've been looking forward to this. Can he get to the end zone? He has to be out to safety. He tries to stiff arm, but no good. Gets down to the four. But as we see the legs from Justin Fields. And he's going to get the Le'Veon Bell here. Le'Veon Bell. Is going to get tackled short. No huddle. Third and goal. And Le'Veon Bell gets pushed over the end zone. 16. Or, uh, Jets are now up to 16 points with a possible 17 on the way. Kick is up and it is good. So Jets are only down by three. They need to get a stop as we see Deshaun Watson trying to rally his team. They only need a couple of first downs. Play action. Gets hit. And that's caught. Nelson Aguilar with another great catch. Deshaun Watson just threw that one up there. And was like, fuck it. Aguilar's over there somewhere. And Nelson Aguilar with another great catch. This Jets team forgot how to tackle when it counted most. Two minutes to go. Deshaun Watson, that's going to be a counter. Matt Breida, he's going to try to protect this ball here. Gets down to the 14 as Trey Burton gets hurt. I don't believe he'll return. Under two minutes left. Like I said, the Jets need a stop. That's Breida in the back of the end zone. Referee says touchdown. Matt Breida with an excellent toe-dragging 
a touchdown catch in the back of the end zone. Oh my lord, this Jets defense forgot how to play. Houston takes a 10 point lead. That's over the middle and Kayla Harry gets down to the 46, but the tack on another 15. Rough in the passing. A rough in the passer. Justin Fields looking to throw once again and gets Corey Davis on the left side, gain of 15. So they're definitely threatening to score here. Justin Fields tries to force it and it's picked off. Tried to force it to Corey Davis. Bradley Roby with the interception. Three interceptions on the year as he seals this game. Texans will come out with a 10 point victory, 27 to 17. Jets get the second, they get their second loss on the year. Texans move to six and zero. Oh. As we see, they just killed us in the passing game. Sean Watson leading his team off the field. Got 350 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions. Justin Fields had 166 yards, touchdown and an interception. As Kiki QT just absolutely demolished our team. And Nelson Aguilar with 117 behind him. Just, we couldn't do anything. Uh, JOK and CJ Mosley led the team with, with 10 tackles each. Malcolm Jenkins and Bradley Rowe both got the only interceptions on the day. As we had a whole lot of upgrades in this one, folks. But next week is against the Patriots at Foxborough. They beat us in week one that we accidentally sim. Uh, they beat the Bucks and the Dolphins. They lost to the Chargers, and they just lost to the Jaguars, 42 to zero. So we're catching them on the end of getting demolished by Trevor Lawrence and the Jacksonville Jaguars. So hopefully we can still catch them while they're down, and hopefully they won't be like rejuvenated to just absolutely destroy us in the next game. Um, as we look at some scouting, again, I hadn't gone through yet and uh, combined the two, but I just downloaded a draft class, and I just need to go through and make sure that it's accurate. As with our uh, Insta Blaze series, uh, definitely want to look to get Derek Stingley or Josh Joe this next offseason, another lockdown cornerback. But I hope you all enjoyed the episode. If you did, leave me a like, and y'all have a great day, and God bless. Don't forget to subscribe.